Recently, a new glitch was discovered in Neopets The Darkest Fairy. It's very simple to do. After completing Gamma and Spider Juice quest, you can talk to Sir Rufus in the courtyards and one of the text boxes will give you 500 Neo points every time you interact with it. So, what's going on? The game allocates a 512 byte buffer, which is used to hold text. Every time a text box is displayed, the game copies the text into the buffer. However, this buffer isn't cleared in between uses. Stuff can get left over. For example, if you hit a long piece of text, followed by a short piece of text, the ending part of the long text sticks around. Now, text isn't just text. It also has escape sequences to do things like change the color or the background color. Guess what else can be represented with an escape sequence? Giving the player items, such as Neo Points, is done with an escape sequence sometimes, including when you turn on Gammon Spider Juice Quest. This escape sequence is found at the end of the text, and when you talk to Sir Rufus later on, the escape sequence stays. Now, this shouldn't matter at all, because at the end of the text, there is a null terminator byte that says, This is the end, you shall not pass. If this game was coded properly, the text processing would stop right here, and the leftover data wouldn't matter at all. Luckily for us, this game is coded very sloppily. So why does the game ignore the null terminator byte and continue processing? Well, the answer lies in the process of how the game displays the text one character at a time. To keep track of how many characters to display, the game uses a floating point variable. This is basically a fancy computer science way of saying that it can hold numbers that are not whole, like 0.5. Of course, this number doesn't directly hold the number of characters. To get that, first the game multiplies a number by 10, then adds 0.001, and finally truncates everything after the decimal point. In addition, one more character is displayed, which is scaled. Specifically, the amount it's scaled by is determined by taking the original number multiplied by 10 and subtracting the truncated number. Anyways. Every frame, 1 30th is added to the number, advancing the pointer by 1 3rd of a character. The important question now is, when does it stop advancing? The game stops advancing the text pointer when two conditions are met. First, it has to have passed the null terminator. Second, the scaling for the extra character has to be less than or equal to zero. Now this scaling would be equal to zero every three frames, since 1 30th is added to the number, which is equivalent to one third of a frame. However, every time 1 30th is added, a little bit of rounding error accumulates until suddenly, no frames meet this condition, so it just keeps advancing. Of course, the game doesn't display text past the null terminator, but the escape sequences are still processed, including escape sequences that give you money. Like the one left over from completing Gamma and Spider Potion Quest. So, after figuring out this exploit, I had to know, are there any better ways to abuse this? So to answer this question, I wrote a program that exhaustively tries every pair of text boxes and outputs all the matches to a file. And I didn't get any very good results. You can jump into the Wheel of Fortune and get the text box once, and then you have to leave the area before you can do it again. Entering a shop doesn't count, because that doesn't unload the area. That's a that's a topic for another time, uwu. You can also make a save before completing Gammon's quest. Then when you get to Act 2, collect the stone and the fairy dust, but leave the stick behind, talk to Saradar, then save in the library, go back, complete Gammon's quest, reload the save in Fairyland, talk to Saradar, and then wait for that text box to scroll, uwu, yeah, repeatedly, slowly. It's better than farming golden grass for two hours. There are a few other setups, but none of them were any good. But then I remembered something. You can hold X in a text box to make the text go faster. Five times faster. This means two things. The rounding error can accumulate slightly differently, and now the pointer advances more than one character every frame. So I modified the program to act as if X is being held, and I found an amazing setup. What you do is go to the arena, defeat the rogue, defeat the Ixie, and then run all the way around to Meridale Army Recruitment Center, hold X, and... You know what this means? 
You don't have to fight Poo Poo Man anymore. Potions are free. The economy of Neopia is about to collapse from hyperinflation. Man, if only I could make that much money by reading a sign over and over again. The best part is this one doesn't even rely on rounding error. Since X is being held, the pointer advances one and two thirds of a character every frame. More than one character. And since the condition is true every three frames, the pointer can go up to five characters past the null terminator. In this case, the escape sequence that gives money is only three characters past the null terminator, which is less than the five. Anyways, that's really all there is to cover about this topic. Thank you for watching, and uh, make sure to like, subscribe or something. Ooh, 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 mm, mm, yeah. And uh, I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you next time. Ooh, ooh.